Welcome back. In today's Sunday Spotlight, Hadassah Lieberman. She immigrated to the U.S., built a public health career, and married former Connecticut Senator Joe Lieberman. Now she's adding author to her resume. Hadassah Lieberman, an American story, is out now. And Hadassah Lieberman joins us this morning. Mrs. Lieberman, thank you for being with us. You finished the preface of your book by saying to readers, thank you for going on this journey with me. Who do you want to go with you on the journey, and what's the journey you take them on? Well, I really want to share my story, my parents' story, a historical moment, really in the globe, in the sense that so many people killed. And how often do we keep repeating lessons from the past so as not to repeat duplications of the future? So I wanted to write that book and just because I wanted to do what my mother said at the end of her diary, which was in Czechoslovakian language, which was, I can't go, and I repeat it in the book, I can't say any more. It's very hard. And I expect my children will finish the story. And so I had a chance now to do this. Now, you, your parents uh, were Holocaust survivors, and you immigrated to this country. Immigration is such a hot topic in so many different ways right now. What do you hope your story and your parents' story can teach other people? I hope so, because the United States, to my family, to me, as they communicated it to me, was the home of the brave. After what they had experienced during a Nazi regime, it was an incredible time. And to be able to come to this country and have that freedom as they came across to the Statue of Liberty and Emma Lazarus's words about the home of the free and the brave. Obviously a, a powerful image there. Also an incredible just story beyond that of your life. You were married, divorced, remarried, had a blended family, a successful career. Are there things you hope people will just take out of this story about what you did throughout your life? Well, that I came out of a very black hole of things when my mother, after the war, was able to meet my father and get pregnant and have a baby and take that baby to go on a ship to the United States. And then my life kept opening up to light and I was blessed. And when I met Joey, he became my best husband, my best friend, and he understood things, even though he was very much of an American, a politician in the state of Connecticut and in the country as times went on. Well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about Joey. I've never called him Joey on television, Senator Lieberman I'm a sorry. lot of times. But I goofed. <laughs> no, it's, I think it's great. You lived your life uh, with him very much in the public eye. Are things different now as you observe what other politicians and political families go through today? Well, when I said something that he thought was not what I should have said, I don't remember what it was. I remember him looking at me and saying, Hadassah, you repeat that publicly. That will be on the front page of the Hartford Current. I thought, oh, my God, there goes any feminist ideas I had. So I was warned but, you know, everything recently is a different story. People say what they want, where they want it. It's just outrageous. And I do think there have to be standards in society to watch what you say out loud. And the one benefit I've had is that I'm married to a politician. What you see is what you get. He's not playing games. So I've been lucky. One of the things you talk about a lot in the book is his run for vice president. And the election in 2000 and the election in 2020 had some similarities, particularly about the outcome and about waiting to see results, uh, days, weeks, months. Uh, what was that time like? And did you see some parallels as you lived through 2020? As I lived through 2020, obviously parts of it, an election made you recollect some of the hardships you go through. But honestly, there was very little that may, reminded me of the days we went through. There were so many points of conflict, of waiting, of wondering what's going to happen. At one minute, I'm checking out Biden's vice presidential house, and I'm thinking, oh, my God, Joey, look at this. 
we could end up here. And then I just remember how different it was. And even when we lost, it was different. It was a different attitude. You have to have respect for each other, whether you agree on things or not. The point is, if we believe so strongly, we must learn to teach our children, teach our communities. Leaders must speak to each other, people who don't agree with them. That's what we are as Americans. So it's frustrating to see the differences, I must say, even and, though I don't want to talk about that too much. And, and one of your husband's closest friends was Senator John McCain, reaching across the aisle to the other party. In fact, Meghan McCain uh, wrote in your book, wrote the afterword in your book, is there a lesson? We only have a few seconds left, but is there a lesson about that bipartisan friendship that we can learn today? That that's the only way we can go forward. Not everyone agrees. There's a right, there's a left, there's Republicans, there's Democrats. That's irrelevant. We're Americans and we stand by what we believe. All right, Hadassah Lieberman, we appreciate you joining us this morning. I had a chance to check out your book. I encourage people to grab it. It's a great uh interesting read just about you, but anyone from Connecticut who followed you and your husband uh, throughout the years will learn a lot of things they probably didn't know. We appreciate you joining us on this Sunday morning. Thank you. And if you'd like to share your thoughts about our topics this morning, you can always send us an email. Our address is ct21 at wfsb.com. We will be sharing some of those comments with you in the weeks to come. That is CT21 for this week. CBS Sunday Morning with Jane Pauley is next. Have a great rest of your weekend. We'll meet you back here in Studio A next Sunday morning. Thanks for watching Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Watch us live wherever you are, on our mobile, on our streaming news app. And you can also watch us on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV.